Hey guys, can I get your attention for a second, please? You know, what you do today can change the course of your life far in the future. Today is critical, today really counts, guys. You know, obviously there's a lot of sayings in sports and stuff like that, but I think the, our focus this year, guys, is, you know, coming to the rink every day and getting, accomplishing something. You know, getting something out of the day. I think it's important, very important. A lot of you guys want to get to the next level, you know, you never know when that call is going to come and you got to be ready. You know, at the end of the day, it's got to be uh, you know, getting the best 20 here, the, the, the 20 that are going to help us win. And I, I think that uh, uh, it's not easy making those decisions. You know, some present themselves, but uh, many of them are very difficult. And you're expendable. You know, everyone is, exp is expendable. Uh, I think once you start getting comfortable, that's when you start getting yourself in trouble. You know, you're comfortable for the first two, three days, and then all of a sudden four or five guys come down one day and maybe another four or five guys another day. All of a sudden, it's like, oh boy. Me personally, my goal isn't to play in the East Coast League. My goal isn't to play in the American League. My goal is to play in the National Hockey League. And, you know, it, some, some people might sound, say that sounds crazy, far-fetched, whatever. That's, it's the reason that I come to the rink every day. This year, CyclonesHockey.com is giving you unprecedented behind-the-scenes access into the building of the 2011-12 Cincinnati Cyclones. You'll see everything from the off-ice workouts to conversations in the coach's office as Jared Scaldi and Andrew Castles decide who is making the cut. It's the eve of training camp, and as players arrive for their welcome meetings, their first order of business, paperwork, and lots of it. Everything from their background to their medical history. You know, let, let, let's, let's make sure with everything we're doing here, guys, we get on time. You know, we want whether it's the bus leaving or uh, being at the rink, all that stuff. Let's be on time. All right, it says a lot about someone that, uh, that shows up early and comes to work. You know, I guess if you're, if you're late and you really don't care, you can't be counted on. So be on time. Make sure for any schedule events throughout camp, and as the season goes along that we're on time. Well, there's, there's obviously anxiety. I mean, I can't wait to get on the ice tomorrow morning. It's nice to get the guys together, give them the information they need, and uh, like I said, meet some of the guys. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for tomorrow morning to get going and get on the ice and get, start getting some implementing some systems and start seeing what, uh, some of the ability of some of these guys. Andrew Castles offers up right, some stern advice. Column. The average roster had 52 guys, I think, last year in this league on it. The high being 72 guys, I believe they said, and 37 as a low. So we're going to have lots of changes, but for guys who don't have American League contracts, there's other teams that always call us looking for guys, and we want to be able to give them the best player who's playing the best at that time. So every day, we're going to be evaluating you guys, especially through camp. It's a short camp. We don't have enough spots for everybody. I think you guys are aware of that. So every day on and off the ice, we're gonna be evaluating you guys. And throughout the year, it's when we get a call and they ask for a guy, you know, who's playing the best for you? You know, it might not be you if you think it's you because you deserve it. It's gonna be who's playing the best. And we just wanna make sure you guys are aware that every day does count because we're gonna get called probably every day from somebody asking us, you know, who's your best player, who's your best right winger, who's your best centerman. So really take that and go with it and really try to use every day to get better, whether it's on the ice or off the ice. As dawn breaks on the first day of camp, the coaching staff prepares for their very first drills. Meanwhile, the players have to endure some physical testing, everything from the long jump to the high jump. But the mood is loose. Okay. So he's gonna we're gonna spot that puck and he's gonna rush it. And he's going he's deep, wide, turning, and hitting the fourth guy in the zone for a shot. Net front drive, Back wide lateral drive. here. So we got layers at the net, one layer, two layers. 
you got him coming at with a shot. Good. Mm -hmm. Earlier this offseason, Coach Scaldi convinced his friend and fellow NHL alumni Andrew Castles to join his coaching staff. It will be Castle's that first professional coaching job. If you want to do that at the end. Well, even if we have to just cut it, like, for maybe it's a three-minute skate. If they're starting to Let's suck wind, we can always end it with that just quickly. Or we can just cut it and do some... Uh, shooting drills for them at the end. Well, I think the, 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 the best part is in the, in the office is going over different systems and, and drills and, and things that we're looking for in our identity, building our identity here as a, as a team. And, uh, um, you know, I think his input is, is, has been terrific and throughout the season it's going to be some good input. So, um, you know, it's such a great asset having him. It's been a, you know, it's a long summer when you step into coaching like that and, and, and it almost seems like what are we doing all this for? And uh, it all comes together here at training camp and you can kind of see how the players come together and we finally get to get on the ice together and, uh, and, and, and see the product that you've been building all summer. So it's exciting for him. I'm excited to work with him. And uh, I think, like I said, he's going to be a big asset for us. Back in the right, locker room, right veteran Nachua Van is always keeping things loose. Hey, don't swear. We're on TVs. The Rocket is back. It's sick. The <laughs> Rocket 18. Name tag on the Xbox. It had me. Oh, true. Everybody's going to have me. I'm going to have like 200 friends on Xbox. I don't know, nobody's going on? Oh. All right then. Well, I just want to, yeah, I just want to shoot and stuff. Definitely, it's such a long summer when you get out the, the first round like this. Uh, I was in my house just waiting, waiting for the training camp to start and the hockey season to start again. And yeah, like you said, I mean, it's going to give us more drive uh, to uh, try to get better as a team and uh, go further in playoff because you never want to have that long of a summer. It's too long. So the first one is going to be D to D to center. So what happens is center, you're going to win the draw back here. D, you're picking it up. This D here, you're coming tight to the net. We're not fading off in the corner like we talked about yesterday. You're coming here. Winger, you're coming out, winger's coming. Centerman, again, like we talked about, you're going low, slow and low underneath. Oh, that's good. I just love hockey, you know, when I go on the ice, I don't think about any other problems or anything, and it's just uh, focusing on uh, getting better, having fun. So, I mean, I just want to joke around a little bit, not too much, but uh, just to keep them loose, uh, like you said. We can make a quick strike to the yeah, net, exactly. we want to, yeah. but if not, if he goes there, he's already driven the net, he's taking the D-man. So yeah. you're falling in behind the yeah, D-man, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I'll have to talk to him about yeah, that. I mean, uh, you know, Matthew Aubin, you know, he knows how to win, he's had success, and, uh, you know, he's a big part of our team, and it was a priority bringing him back this summer. and. Uh, uh, yes, he's, he, he, he's developing into a good leader. I think he's uh, a guy that's going to take a, another step. He's still a young guy. He's played uh, five years in the league already and, and, and in the American Hockey League. So uh, it's great having him in the room. It's great having him on the ice. He keeps guys loose, but he also knows uh, he's a pro and he knows how to compete. One, one at a time here. A newcomer to the Cyclones this year is former Ohio State Buckeye Matt McIlvain. He has immediately come in and established great so leadership table. both on and off the ice. Coach Scaldi says McIlvain possesses the type of attitude and personality that a leader must demonstrate. Well, his, his presence alone, I mean, he, he, uh, he's a quality person. He's, uh, you know, he's uh, a guy that when he walks in the room, he commands that respect from the guys. And it's, uh, you know, he's just such a, such a great teammate. He, he leads by example. You know, he's not afraid to speak his mind when need be. And, um, you know, he's here for the common good of everybody. I think, I think the most important part of, of being a leader is, is doing all the things right and you know for me that's some something I've taken pride in it's what's given me a bit of success uh, thus far in my career you know I haven't reached my goal yet but um, you know I, the things that I have been able to do are because I do all the little things well and uh, you know try to hold myself accountable to that and you know if I'm holding myself accountable uh, hopefully that guys guys see that and and be willing to follow you know he wants to be successful he wants us to be successful he wants to be part of all that and uh, uh, when you have a guy that comes in and leads, leads on the ice the way he does and then is able to be such a quality person off the ice and be a leader, it's a, it's a big bonus. It's a great help for myself, for Andrew, and for a lot of these young guys to just uh, have someone to look at and to take, take note of and, and, and be a great example for them. 
Another former Buckeye will don a Cyclones jersey this year, defenseman Chris Reed, who says he's still amazed he's getting paid to play his favorite sport. It's unbelievable. You know, he, he did bring that up yesterday, and it just reminded me, you know, coming back, especially after the long summer, and I had an internship in my major. I was in, I'm an accounting major, and coming back and just getting on the ice, it was just, I'm, I'm all smiles. I mean, you see it out there. I just, I love being out on the ice. I love playing hockey, and now the fact that I get to actually get paid to play is just, outstanding. I couldn't ask for anything, anything more. And when he found out that he was offered a contract, his career path took a different turn. And I was just, I was elated because I, I at, at the beginning of, after the season, I wasn't even sure if I was going to go play pro or if I would just wanted to start like my career in accounting or whatever. But now that I got a, a chance to play, I'm totally excited for sure. The end of day number one concludes with a shootout game. And early on, the goaltenders held the upper hand. Even Coach Scaldi was having trouble finding the twine. Quite a bit of trouble, actually. Next time on Making the Cut. That's what we're looking for, somebody to step out of the shadow and, and be that guy where we come in after practice and go, wow. It's a, tough, it's a tough time of year from that regard where, you know, you've got to make some tough decisions. And, uh, you know, the main focus is, is, is what's, what's best for the team. And, um, you know, that's kind of where our, where our focus is as we go through the next few days. Like it's always, someone's always gunning for your job, you know. Like you're never, you're never safe. Watch as the drama unfolds and players fight to skate another day. Coach's uh, mantra this year, uh, every day counts. I mean, that could not be more true right now. We just need to make sure we set that tone right out the get-go and, and uh, take a running start into the year.